This lesson we're gonna be learning La Vie en Rose. Uh, we're gonna start with this intro first. Um, that's gonna also <clears throat> carry the melody. So it's kind of like a little chord melody thing here. So we're gonna start with a G chord like this, barring the seventh fret, all strings, pinky on the 10th fret of your A string. We're gonna strum that twice, down strokes. Then we're gonna single note pick. That. Well, let me play the intro first for you. Okay, that's what the intro sounds like. So, back to our G major, barring the seventh fret, pinky on the tenth fret here on the A string. Then we pick nine, seven, 10, 7, 10 on the A string. Okay, so we got our strum on the G. Back to 10. Then we hit this chord, which is a B minor, 9, 10, 11. So we got. Then we come here, and you can bar the seventh fret, A, E, and C string. We pick seven, 10 on the E string, seven on the E string, seven on the C string. And then back to the nine on the A string. So let me show you what that sounds like. Here it is. And then we just strum the, uh, <clears throat> this is a G6 chord. So you got, you're just barring the seventh fret on the A, E, and C strings. Then you do the same single note uh, little run that you did before, seven, 10, seven, seven. Back to nine again. And this time it's a different chord. It's uh, an A minor. Seven, eight, nine, twice, and then you play a D7 like this, which is nine, nine, eight. Okay, so let me play through it nice and slow so you can see. our A minor to our D7. Okay, that's the intro. It's all tabbed out for you there, so make sure you check that out. Um, you can't see exactly what my fingers are doing. And you're gonna play that intro, you can play it twice. And that brings us into the verse, which is gonna be a G chord first, so you should be familiar with the G. And that's pretty much gonna be the strum pattern throughout. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we do a bar of G, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, to a B minor seven, which is just barring all the strings on the second fret. To a G six, some different chords in here, so you got Second fret A string, second fret C string, open E, open G. And then you're gonna move that whole thing back, and it's gonna be a B flat diminished seven chords, kind of some jazz chords in here, um, but they sound really nice. So we got G, B minor seven, G six, so, to A minor, to D7, those are all downstrokes, they're just quarter notes. A minor, 
D7. So that's kind of the first half of the verse. G, B minor 7, G6, A minor, D7. Then you go back to the A minor for a bar, D7 for a bar, A minor, That part's a little tricky. So the second half, you start on the, the uh, A minor chord to D7, and you go A minor, D7, and then a D7 sharp five. And I'm just I'm barring the second. Well, we have, we have our D7 like this. All you gotta do is move this finger up and put your third finger down on this third fret of the A string right here. And it kind of leads us nicely back into the, the one chord, which is G. So uh, let me play through the verse what we got so far. G, B minor seven, G6, A minor, D7. A minor, D7, this is tricky here, A minor, D, so it was D, I'm sorry, D7, D7 sharp five, back into the G for a bar. Okay, so that's kind of like the first half uh, of the sequence. Okay, so now we got G again for a bar, kind of starts the same way, B minor seven, to our G6 for half a bar, and then G7. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up, to C for a bar. Then we go to a C minor six, which you're gonna bar the second fret, every string, and then bar the E, I'm sorry, the A, E, and C string with your second finger and you have a C minor six chord. Okay, so from the G, B minor seven, G six, G seven, C. C minor six, back to G. Then A7 for a bar, which you just put your first finger on the first fret of the C string. A minor, D7, and D7 flat five. Kind of a weird jazz chord. So pinky on the third fret of the A string, third finger on the second fret of the E string, second finger on the second fret of the C string, first finger on the first fret of the G string. So the way that goes from the A7, one, two, three, four, then you're back to the G. So one more time with that, A7, one, two, three, four, G, and B minor seven again, then A minor, D7, G for a bar. And that's the whole tune. So um, let's go back to the beginning um, and play the first part of it uh, so you can hear what it sounds like. So after the intro, this is the top of the sequence of chords. G, B minor seven, G six, A minor, D seven. Back to A minor, D7, A minor, G. That's kind of the first half there. Second half stays on G, B minor 7, G6, G7, C. C minor 6, G. A7, one, 
two, three, four, G. A minor, D7, G. And then the whole thing just repeats from there. So that's pretty much it. Take your time. There's some really cool different chords in there that you're going to have to practice a little bit to get through the tune, but um, great little tune. Work on that intro with the melody. It's a pretty cool kind of chord melody thing there. So um, that's it for this tune.